Uh, hi, everybody. This is Martin Patella, the health coach at Life Enthusiast. I'm also the CEO. We are going to you under the banner of restoring vitality to you and to the planet. Today, I have with me Mary Okocha, one of our clients, who has also now joined us on our mission. Hey, Mary. Hi, Martin. How are you? I'm so excited to talk with you today. Um, you know, I, I brought up talking about this topic today because just like you, I'm on a mission to help people have better health. And as you know, I've kind of struggled with my own health concerns. You know, I've, I've, I'm a woman that's in her 60s. I'll be 63 next week. I struggled with, you know, weight and fatigue and, you know, just not feeling my best. And, you know, like so many people who are struggling to, to like improve their health, um, I've been wanting to improve mine, and it was only after I met you that I was able to actually find solutions to the, the struggles that I was dealing with. And I really feel that, you know, without your health, it's just so impossible to enjoy your life. And I feel like life is meant to be enjoyed. And I'm on a mission to help not only myself, but other people now that I'm excited to find all these secrets to good health. I'm on a mission to help other people as well. And... As you know, I've been really enjoying all the products that you suggested for me, and my health has improved immensely. I mean, I could go through the details, but, you know, it's really just over the past year that I've really worked with you closely, I have just gotten more and more energy, and I feel like I have more energy than I did in my 20s, which is pretty amazing. And I've learned that it's possible to feel better as you age, which has been a real revelation to me. So, Martin, I'd like to just really get in get to the point of this discussion and just kind of pick your brain about what you think are the critical elements to improving someone's health, especially aging people. Right. They, you know, the transformation that you have enjoyed was a, a process of education as I remember it, because yes. you would tell me that you're going to do an experiment with uh, a weight loss technique and it just blew up in your face. And I said, it was going to blow up in your face. And went, and you went ahead and it blew up in your face. And then you were just shocked for me to tell you to do exactly the opposite of what all the nutritionists and guru and whatever was telling you. And then, then you were saying, I cannot believe that I'm doing all these things and they are making me right. You know, it's really funny because it was the opposite. You told me how to eat for my metabolic type, and I had no idea that eating proteins and fats would make me lose weight. I thought that was what was making me gain weight. And when I stopped eating carbs, and I especially cutting out gluten, as you suggested, I, the weight just started to melt off of me. I could not believe it. And my friends couldn't believe it either. People have just really remarked about how trim I look now. Yeah, I, I hear that you're now uh, getting people turning heads. Or well, it's true. And in my sixties, I didn't really, I didn't really think that was going to happen again. <laughs> but funny that that it's happening. But so what I wanted to say here is, one of the things that was chronically wrong with you is that you had chronic level of inflammation, and the inflammation was showing up in various symptoms for you. It had to do with fatigue and aches and pains and stiffness here and there. And, and these things, as the level of inflammation is decreasing, these symptoms are receding, right? Absolutely. As a matter of fact, they're all gone. There's just one little residual thing that is going quickly away, especially after taking uh, some enzymes and, and the MSM and the power team that you have. Um, it's, it's quickly subsiding. So I, I really can't believe all the great benefits that I'm feeling. It's, it's really amazing. It's all, almost nothing short of a miracle. And I don't want to sound like I'm over the top, but I'm just so grateful that, you know, I found you and found all these products. Great. So um, we're going to probably get into that, but not in this video. So mm -hmm. we're going to probably unpack it and it's going to be more than one episode because there is a lot to it and there's no way that we can tell everything to everybody. But the method remains. The method is we understand what's right for you and we understand what's not right for you. And it's individual. It depends on your biological individuality. We discover it, we uncover it, and we unpack the problems and then reverse. 
And as soon as we start taking away the irritation and supplying the things that build, build health and healthy tissue, it doesn't take long for you to feel a whole lot younger than you did just a week, a month prior. Absolutely. Much to my amazement. One, one of the things that I noticed is just, you know, when I started taking, magnesium was one of the very first things that you had me taking. And I was hoping that we could talk a little bit about that today. You know, that's a very important point. Magnesium is one of those four cornerstone minerals the human body requires. There's the pair called calcium magnesium. That's the pair that controls the uh, autonomic nervous system. Calcium activates the uh, fight or flight stress side of the cycle. Magnesium activates the opposite, the rest, repair, digest. So calcium will raise your blood pressure, magnesium will lower it. Calcium will wake you up, magnesium will put you to sleep, and so on. So that's a cornerstone piece of all physiology in the human body. If you have symptoms that are inflammatory, that's the sympathetic being overly active. If you have symptoms like high blood pressure or diabetes or pre-diabetes or aches, pains, arthritis, there are 300 different physiological processes that wow. we have a list of on our website under the calcium magnesium interplay, the uh, autonomic nervous system controls. Hmm. And if you are deficient in magnesium, you're going to have any or all, like not just one, multiple of these uh, symptoms showing up. So tell me just a little bit about, you know, just the top one, three maybe consequences of not having magnesium. Like how would I know that I'm deficient in it? Well, the one thing is you will find it difficult to relax. So you'll be tense. You'll be easy to uh, upset and difficult to calm down. Your blood pressure will tend to be on the higher side. Your going to sleep is going to be not as easy as it would be otherwise. Your muscles are going to be stiff rather than supple. Um, your wrinkles are going to start showing up stronger rather than not. Rather than not. That's true. Mine have certainly been going away. <laughs> And so I'm assuming that the opposite is true. So the benefits of taking it are that you'll just feel calmer, you'll have better rest, you're, you'll have more of a youthful appearance, a more calm, um, a calmness to yourself. And also, you know, there are digestive benefits to taking it as well that I've discovered. Well, that's right. Well, a magnesium is the, because it activates the peristalsis, it the peristalsis in the arteries shows itself as lower blood pressure. The peristalsis in the digestive system shows itself up as a smooth, regular elimination. That's what so, you mean, right? Yes. So how, I mean, who should be taking magnesium in general and how often should they be taking it? I think that's a question that comes up often for people. Right. Um, there is a tragic deficiency of magnesium in foods grown in North America. There's a depletion of magnesium in the soils in which all of the foods are grown. So from the get-go, 70 to 80% of the population is deficient, 60% clinically deficient. That's why wow. we see these high rates of high blood pressure and uh, high rates of cholesterol and high rates of... Um, insomnia, nervousness, anxiety, all that stuff is directly related to the imbalance between calcium and magnesium. You know what, what I think is so sad about that too is that people attribute that often to just getting older. And, you know, I've come to discover in working with you, it's not about getting older. It's really about providing your cells with what they need so the healing can take place and your body can... can you know, reach homeostasis. Right, yeah, that's a beautiful word, homeostasis. Mm -hmm. The body natu naturally will strive toward homeostasis provided we give it the, uh, the inputs 
And magnesium is the input that activates the rest, repair, digest, which is the um, parasympathetic side of the autonomic nervous system. That's the side that helps you repair. Because if you no. don't repair, you're just wear you're, out. You're, you know, the, the thing I know about our physiology is either, it's either improving or it's degrading. It's either getting better or getting worse. It really never stays the same. Every, you know, everything in the body is constantly moving and changing. So, and we get new cells all the time. Um, just, you know, I took a lot of anatomy and physiology in college because I was a pre-med major, as you know. So I almost went into medicine, but instead ended up in, you know, more of a, you know, health education uh, type of a profession. So if, you're, if your cells are constantly changing and either getting better or getting worse, you hopefully will be feeding them with the proper nutrients so they're always getting better. Otherwise, people think it's just a natural part of aging. And because a lot of people don't understand the way their physiology works, they do age in a not so graceful fashion and they think it's just normal, but it's not normal. It, our food is abnormal. Our food supply isn't good the, the way you, you know, just like you said earlier. So one of my questions to you is when people take magnesium can they just go to cvs and buy a bottle of magnesium i mean what form should they really be taking so because they're different forms right you've explained to me that um magnesium that's just gathered from minerals isn't really in the bioavailable form so your right. cells can't readily absorb it it might absorb a small amount but it won't absorb enough to really be that beneficial can you just talk a little bit about the form of magnesium Right, so we humans are not really quite capable of turning rocks into a bioavailable anything. It really starts in the soil, and in the soil there are microbes, and the microbes are creating this acidic environment in which the minerals are leached or taken out of the mineral state, and then the roots of the plants pick it up into themselves. So that, that is finally an absorbable form and then that form you can uh, take it into an animal and eat the animal or eat the plant directly but you cannot eat the rocks directly now the bioavailable forms is if we for example uh, react the magnesium with lemon juice that's citric acid we're going to have magnesium citrate oh if we react it with the acid that makes apples sour that's called malic acid we'll have magnesium malate. If we reacted with the acid that's in our stomachs, that's the hydrochloric acid, we'll have magnesium chloride. Simple stuff. Those are the basic ones. There are some others like threonate and a few other amino acids that may make it more available. And uh, in, in the literature, you will find that most every supplement manufacturer tries to supplement magnesium orally. So they try to find com more complex forms of it so that they don't cause the natural reaction, which is this. Magnesium in a clinical dose will trigger a bowel flush. It activates yeah. the peristalsis so much that you empty your bowel within 20, 30 minutes of taking a large enough dose. Wow. And the dose is about this. Um, about a teaspoon of saturated magnesium ionic solution will have somewhere around 500 or 600 milligrams of magnesium, especially like say chloride. Magnesium chloride will have 538 milligrams of magnesium per teaspoon. Once you have it in a liquid form, it's yeah. readily absorbable. But if you drink it, it's going to go through the digestive system and trigger the bowel flush effect. Right. But uh, if you take that ionic form, by ionic we mean dissolved in water, mm -hmm. um, we can put it on topically. The problem with topically, top, that means on the skin, and it mm -hmm. will absorb through the skin. Everything that you put on absorbs, you know, whether, you're the, whether it's a lipstick or deodorant or, uh, or whatever else, it will eventually absorb into the body. That's true. Yeah, so we need to be careful what we're putting on our skin. <laughs> right. Well, in this case, yeah. this is the desirable thing. We're putting on magnesium that will penetrate through the skin and be absorbed directly into the lymphatic and circulatory systems, bypassing the digestion, therefore no ill effects. 
Well, and I would imagine it's it's better for you to have it absorb directly too because the, all that magnesium that flushes through your system isn't really giving you any benefit. It's just it's just going through your system. It's not getting absorbed. So you're really not getting the full effect of it. You may think you're getting enough magnesium, but you're really not in that case because you're just flushing it through. That's true. That's true. When you take it orally and you trigger the uh, flush effect, it's just going through passing you by, so to speak. Anyway, we do have this special technique. Um, it's, it's the energetic structuring of water. This is not the most commonly known or well-known uh, fact about water, but water can be made, um, can be treated in such a way that it, its surface tension is lowered and its clustering is smaller so that it becomes more penetrable to the human tissue to the skin and all cells internally and and what does that mean for the magnesium are we putting the magnesium in that water yeah that's the idea okay we, whichever we put whatever we put into that water so we, we start start with the structured water and then whatever we put in it is going to be transported through the skin into the uh, lymphatic and circulatory effectively so in our case we use magnesium chloride because the magnesium does what we've discussed. The chlorides are really important. Number one, they are used in the stomach to build hydrochloric acid, therefore digestion, the strength of your ability to digest foods. Mm -hmm. And also chlorides are involved in carbon dioxide management. If you're, if you're under chlorinated, you're going to have a difficulty with uh, oxygen carbon dioxide balances, the pH balance in the body. Wow, that's, you know, we haven't really talked about that before because a lot of people think that chlor, chlor, chlorine is bad for you. Is that different from chloride? Yes, chlorine is a gas, CL2. Okay. Two okay. molecules of chlorine bound to one another. Mm -hmm. It's very toxic. It's especially damaging to microbes. Oh, and we need of those course. to survive. <laughs> well, funny thing, right? We put it <laughs> we put it into drinking water to kill the microbes because yeah. there could be pathogenic microbes in that water. But so you kill everything, thing. even the that's good a, ones. <laughs> that's a good thing, but then we want to not drink that chlorine because if we ingest it, it's going to kill the desirable microbes together with the undesirable microbes inside of us. Right. And I think everyone knows about probiotics these days and how important those are for your digestive system. So, um, yeah, that's a, that's a bad thing for the water treatment. Right. But. So back to magnesium. So we use it yeah. topically. We mm -hmm. use it in combination with chloride. The other common one is known as Epsom salts, and that's a sulfate, SO4. Okay. So we have it in several forms. We call them magnesium oil, not because it's an, in oil, but because it's slick feeling when you run it between your fingers. Okay. And Very. so that's the fully saturated, full amount of magnesium, as concentrated as we can make it. And that's and the 538 we, milligrams per teaspoon of magnesium. And how much do you recommend uh, using? A typical desirable dose is about 1,000 milligrams a day. So maybe two teaspoons of that. Two teaspoons. Mm -hmm. And the people who have migraines, they probably double that. Like wow. Whatever it takes. And for migraine you, uh, sufferers, do you recommend that they put it like on their temples or can they just put it on their body? All over. I mean, I would okay. definitely put it on the temples and back of the neck. Mm -hmm. But then you, you probably can manage a half a teaspoon and you need about two teaspoons. So you need to spread it all over. Magnesium will relax things that are tense undo cramps, if you're quick to injure, if you have uh, problems running and staying relaxed, put magnesium all over before you get into the arena. If only the uh, football players and sprinters and who knows what else people who tend to injure themselves in the field, mm -hmm. putting magnesium oil on themselves before they start they would be injury free most likely. So, so that was the magnesium oil. We also have it in the form of gel where we cut it mm -hmm. with uh, um, so sodium alginate. It's an extract of seaweed. Okay. So that's about 50% concentrated. Okay. 
Awesome. And, and then we have one other version. We call it the magnesium oil with aloe vera, and that's 75%. So a quarter less. So it's smooth. The, the, uh, the gel is kind of soothing on the skin, less, less sticky and less ornery. And I'm assuming that if people aren't quite sure what form they should take, they can always give us a call at Life Enthusiast and have a chat. You bet. Cool. Yeah, 866-543-3388. We also use this same structured water with magnesium as a means of extracting nutrients from things. And so we have a product that we call Topically Everything. Ah, yes. yes which contains the extract of alfalfa and seaweed or kelp. And the alfalfa is an amazing plant because it grows on soils and puts roots, its roots down to 20, 30 feet. So it extracts minerals that you would not necessarily expect in ordinary plants like, I don't know, tomatoes and potatoes. So we use that. Mm -hmm. And... The seaweed, of course, that absorbs the minerals from the sea. So that's. I'll tell you, the the sea minerals are amazing. I know every time I've spent just a lot of time soaking in the ocean, I always feel just so wonderful and vibrant when I get out. That it's, you know, that seaweed's a very important element. Mm -hmm. And there's plenty of magnesium in in, in the seawater. Mm -hmm. And I'm assuming that's really bioavailable as well. And are there various forms of magnesium in that seawater? Well, it's ionic. So there mm -hmm. will be the sulfates and chlorides and uh, maybe others. Um, but the magnesium itself is ionic, as is the calcium and sodium. Only when they come out of solution do they go crystalline. And <clears throat> on top of the topically everything, we have also developed one called topically every pain where we have added valerian root extract to the topically everything. Oh, and valerian's very relaxing. I've, I've used that before if I had a hard time sleeping. That's correct. It's very much that. And uh, it's, it's unfortunate characteristic is it smells like a wet dog. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we have added... Uh, uh, some essential oils to it. We have two versions of it. One we call the W, which has got wintergreen in it. So that's for people who are going to go athletic with it. And the other one we call F for, for frankincense. And that's for people who are wanting to get the um, psychological mood balancing, anti-anxiety effects of it. Wow. That's, um, it's an amazing variety of different types of magnesium that we offer. Indeed. Yeah, there, there are some marketers. I have just recently uh, read about pico size minerals, which of course, pico, that's like a thousand times smaller than micro or a hundred times smaller than nano. And, uh, and they just make a big deal of it, just saying our minerals are, pi are pico minerals and we're better than anyone else. It's, what it's, I want like to the, say. it's like the buzzword of the day, isn't it? <laughs> Pretty much. You know, once you dissolve something, it goes ionic, which means that the ion of magnesium, the Mg2, is loose. You cannot make it any smaller. It just is. I guess it's, it's a marketing technique that, that makes it sound really special. Well, I know I know the products that you produce that you offer on Life Enthusiasts are just of, of incredible quality, and I hope that more people will partake of them because I've I've never experienced products like these before ever in my life, and I've been a I've been a health you know natural healing um, student since I was seventeen. So I've been into the, you know, into this myself personally my whole life, even though I haven't been working in this field. Um, you know, I've been in health education, but not necessarily in nutrition. And uh, I've just never experienced the high quality of products. And I, I feel like, you know, more people should be using your products because you vet things for their quality so carefully. And I just hope that more people will really learn about it and get to experience the benefits because it truly is life changing. Yes, indeed. It has to do with discernment, with understanding mm -hmm. what is important and what's just superfluous fluff. Yeah. yeah. 
marketing type, I think. I think. And I'm a marketer, so yeah, I think I can criticize my own industry a little bit. <laughs> sure thing. All right, so that pretty much tells it. So, so okay. the magnesium, as we have it topically, it can be uh, just pour it on your palm of your hand and rub it on your skin. Or if you feel like it, you can put it into, uh, dilute it first with water and then put it into a spray bottle. Like here's a sample of it. I'm just going to show it on camera. Okay. Yes, um, that's great. There's a, you know, typical atomizer. Um, uh -huh. There's a, I don't know. Can if we, we can offer that on Life Enthusiast, that little yeah. spray bottle? Yeah, we have these bottles available. We can either add a spray top or the whole spray bottle. Or you probably have 10 of them sitting around the house because you bought other supplements. And so you can use that to spray the magnesium on instead of rubbing mm -hmm. it on. Okay. Or you can use the, the other ones that you mentioned with the uh, wintergreen and the, and the essential oils in they, it. They come in the spray bottle just like the one I showed. They come automatically. So the one that you, that's the, the, t the regular topical magnesium, you have to either spray it or rub it on. The other ones come in the spray version. That's right. Okay, very good. Well, I, uh, I haven't tried the spray ones, so I'm looking forward to trying those too. Every time we talk about something, I always, you, you always laugh at me because I always say, oh, I need to try that too. <laughs> yeah. So I guess now I'm going to have to try those. <laughs> Indeed. Very good. Well, okay. thank, thank you for talking to me about magnesium today, and I hope this was educational for the people that are watching this. A little video you know impromptu video chat that we're doing today and of course as Martin said you can call him at any time at Life Enthusiasts and find out more. Yes you can find me at www.life-enthusiast.com and the phone number is 866-543-3388. We make it our business to restore vitality to you and to the planet. Very good. Thank you Martin. Thank you.